Hi friends, Namaste and welcome back to our YouTube channel Twitter Pratik. In today's CSS session, we are going to learn to create a CSS class card with Aswam 3D hover effect. In this tutorial video, we will going to create standard attractive CSS card design with adding glass morphism effects just by using CSS property. And for hover effects, we will use some JS pre-designed plugin for adding 3D hover effect. But before we start, if you are new to our YouTube channel and still didn't subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that you will get notified whenever we publish our new session videos. Now let's begin our today's session. On start, we will use some CSS properties like CSS gradient and CSS clip part to create some stylish background design. These are the very most using property. If you don't know about it, you can check our previous videos related to CSS gradient and CSS clip part properties. The links for those videos are available in this video's description as well as on the i button at the top of this video. So let's begin with CSS coding for creating attractive background design. For CSS coding, let's first create external CSS file and let's name it as style.css. Now let's link this file on our index.html. Then on our style.css file, let's give some margin, padding and other common properties on asterisk element. After then, let's give some CSS properties for our body element. Now, for creating some background effects, let's use CSS clip part and give some CSS gradient background colors on body elements before and after pseudo elements. Here, we can see the attractive background style just by using the CSS clip part and CSS gradient colors. Now, let's move to HTML coding for creating container block and add some cars inside it.
here we created one main container and inside it we created one card deal and for card contents we again added another deal block with class content as we are going to create card which have initially one content as image and title then when it cut over the mouse it will change to some text content so for this second part we will create two div blocks as first and second classes and we added required contents inside it after then as we are going to create three cards so let's copy our card div twice and change the content inside of it Now, let's give some CSS properties for our container div. And then, for giving shape and sizes for our cars, Let's keep some CSS properties for it. After then, let's move to style for our content of our cards. Our images are very big, so let's adjust our image size and give some circular borders on it. After then, for creating sliding up effect on card contents, let's give some CSS properties for our card on hover state. After now, we can see that our card has image bounded by circular border 
with attractive saddle effect. And while we over the mouse on each card, we can see the transformation effect sliding up and down on mouse over and out. Now let's style our other card contents like headings, paragraphs and hyperlinks. Here, up to now, we had almost completed all the styles for our car and its contents. As on first, we have to show only image and title, then only when mouse over on the car, the images and the titles should be hidden, and the content details, paragraph and hyperlink buttons should be visible. For doing this, we already separated these two parts into first and second named class. So, let's give some CSS properties for switching these two classes and hover state. Now almost we done our CSS coding for creating our awesome attractive CSS glossomorphism cars. Here we can see that the cool sliding transformation effect on mouse over on each cars and also switching the cars contents. For making more real 3D transforming effect, we will going to use one simple vanilla tail JavaScript. For adding this feature, we will need one JS file to be added on our website. To get this file, let's go to the google.com and then let's search for vanilla tilde.js. On this search result, click on this first one result of GitHub page. Here we can get the various 3D tilting effect JS file. For now, Let's click on vanilla tilde.js. Here is our script code. For downloading this this file, just right click on this and click on save as. Then save the JS file inside our root folder. After that, for using and applying this script effects, just go down to this website. And here we can see the term how to use. From here we can just copy this JS file linking script 
and paste it at the just before of our closing body tab. After then, again, scroll little bit down on our GitHub page for JS Way. From here, let's copy the JavaScript codes for applying effects for our HTML element and paste inside the script tag after our previous JS linking script tag. And on this code, just replace the class name your element into dot card. Now we can see the 3D vanilla tilting hover effect for our card. But here we can see that it only worked for our first card only and not working to other cards. To make working this 3D vanilla tilting hover effects for all our cards, just we have to add the word all after the selector as document.query selector all. Please be careful that JavaScript is case sensitive, so you must type all with capitalized A later. Now we can see that our 3D vanilla tilting hover effect is working for our all cards. Again, for making more realistic, we can add some more effects like lighting effects. For adding this lighting effects to our glossomorphism CSS cards, just inside the JavaScript coding, let's keep the comma after the speed 400 and let's add these two properties glare true and max glare one. Now we completed our full project of creating attractive CSS class morphism cars. Wow, how awesome CSS glass morphism cars now we have. We can feel these cars like as a real as we feel on a real life. These tilting 3D transformation effects as well as the lighting effects give life to our CSS cars. Did you love the CSS glass morphism car designs? Let's give a try once yourself. If you have any issues or any problems, you can feel free to contact us through the comment box. I feel happy to assist you to solve your issues. And I must say a big thanks for Online Tutorials YouTube channel for this design. The full credits go to the Online Tutorials YouTube channel for this beautiful design. I just try to explain it much better to understand all users easily with step-by-step -step procedures with describing on details with voice. As a test, I also made some fusion of switching cars contents for more looks better. That's all for today. We will come back soon with more interesting videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.